Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to use SQL Plus to communicate with your Oracle database. Now the, the, the version of your database doesn't really matter. It's going to be the same across the board, whether you're dealing with, you know, even uh, something as early as Oracle 7 to as late as uh, 12C. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and um, launch SQL Plus. Okay, and my Oracle database administrator already provided me with my credentials. My username is HR and the alias for my database is ORCL. Okay, so yours might be something different. You have to talk to your database administrator. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hit enter and now it's asking for my password which also happens to be HR but don't tell anybody. So as soon as I type that in, notice you don't actually see the password appearing on the screen, but it does get entered. Okay, so I have successfully connected. And in fact, if I step away and come back to my machine and forget who I'm logged in as, I can always type in show user and it will tell me I'm user HR. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is find out the tables that I own. So there's a database view it's a, it, that taps into the metadata for the database. And um, that database view is called user underscore tables. And it looks rather complex, but it's really not. I'm just doing a describe on user tables so you can see all the information that we get can get from our database. Really what I'm interested in is the table name. Okay, so what I can do is issue this statement. I can say select table name from user underscore tables. I terminate this with a semicolon. Notice that it automatically puts the line number on there. That's just a visual indicator for us. It's not actually a part of the statement. Okay, so select table name from user tables and here are my tables. So now if I want to see the structure of any of these tables, I can perform a describe. So DESC is short for describe, and this is actually not a SQL statement. Um, describe is actually a SQL plus command. Okay, so you can do a describe on, let's say, uh, the departments. Okay, so my table departments has four columns. We have department ID. The data type is a number. The four in parentheses means an integer up to four digits. The department name is varchar2 up to 30 characters. So basically it's any kind of text up to 30 characters. My manager ID and location ID are both integers as well. Manager ID can be up to six digits and location can be up to four digits. Notice these first two columns here, not null, not null. This just simply means if we insert or update a record, we have to provide both the department ID and the name. Okay, so this does not tell me the primary key of my table. If I wanted to find out what the primary key is, that would be another SQL statement, which I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, let's just do a describe on my employees table. So we have a few more fields here. And um, if, you, if you're if you using the HR schema, you might not have uh, all of these in here. I added these later on. So don't worry about these columns in here, the created by, created on, and so on. Uh, but notice here, employee ID, not null, last name not null, email not null, and so on. The primary key will always have not null next to it, but we don't know which one of these is our primary key. Okay. So let's find out. Okay, so if I do a describe on another metadata dictionary uh, view here, I can look at user underscore constraints. Okay, so here I can find the constraint name, the constraint type, and the table name. So if I want to find all of the constraints on my, let's say my employees table, let me do a select constraint name, constraint type from user constraints where 
table name equals, and I need to put this in all caps because that is how it's stored in the database, where table name equals employees. Okay, so what's up with these constraint types? Well, P means primary key, so this is the one that we're definitely interested in. U means it's a unique constraint. C means check constraints. And R means relational. In other words, those are foreign key constraints. So since I'm interested in the primary key, let's, let's remember this name right here. Now there's yet another view where we can find out more information about the constraint columns. Okay, so that's user, cons, columns. And you can see here that we have access to the constraint name and the column name. So if I want to find out what column my primary key is for the employees table, I can say select column name from user cons columns where table name equals employees and constraint name equals, and remember it's emp underscore emp underscore id underscore pk, so let me put that in there. And you can see that the primary key is employee id, so boy we had to dig around to get that information, but I'm just showing you the manual way of getting it. You probably want to use some kind of tool such as Toad, which gives you a more graphical representation, or you could use SQL, De SQL Developer for that as well. Well, I hope you got a lot out of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.